Between the brutal murder of Grace Budd by Albert Fish in 1928 and the unresolved Black Dahlia case in 1947, a generation of future serial killers was born. This generation included notorious figures like Charles Manson, Henry Lee Lucas, John Wayne Gacy, and Ted Bundy, among others. These individuals would later go on to terrorize the world with their heinous acts, creating a wave of fear that would linger for decades. Fast forward to the late 70s and early 80s, an era that would witness a surge in serial murders. The majority of these criminals began their killing sprees in their late 20s or early 30s. Some exceptions to this pattern were Edmund Kemper, Patrick Kearney, John N. Collins, Richard Cottingham, and Jerry Brudos, who initiated their reigns of terror earlier. In our quest to understand this surge, we often associate the increase in serial killings with the era they occurred. From the cultural revolutions of the 60s and the hedonism of the 70s, to the harsh realities of the 80s and the greed of the 90s, we've tried to justify that serial killing was a product of these violent times. However, this is only a partial truth. The roots of psychopathology are embedded in childhood. To comprehend these serial killers, we must look back 20 to 30 years to their formative years in the 40s and 50s. The transgressive fantasies that these individuals harbored were, in essence, a script that directed their heinous acts. The selection of victims and the script's directions are aspects of a complex structure that we are yet to fully understand. Criminologist Stephen Egger offers an alternative perspective. He argues that the surge in serial murders was not due to an increase in serial killers, but rather an increase in available victims whose lives were devalued by society. These victims, often belonging to marginalized sections of society, were perceived as less dead. Their disappearances were sometimes not even reported, making them easy targets for these predators. In conclusion, the birth and rise of serial killers can be attributed to a combination of personal psychopathology and societal factors. However, the exact triggers remain a subject of ongoing research and debate. As we continue to delve into the minds of these criminals, we hope to unravel the mystery that is the birth of a serial killer.